Hi, and welcome back to the Budget Office's video series on the difference between city and county funds. This video will cover county revenues and expenses for all county funds, so if you are a resident of Wyandotte County, this is for you. Before we get started, it is important to note that this video will include all county funds shown in this pie chart here. Those funds are the County General Fund, Elections, Aging, Mental Health, Developmental Disability, the Health Department, Jail Commissary, Register of Deeds Technology Fund, the Very Small Funds of Clerks Technology Fund and Treasurer's Technology Fund, County Bond and Interest, the Court Trustee Fund, and finally, Parks and Recreation. For more information on county funds, please watch our video on the county fund breakdown. Now that we've discussed the funds included in this video, let's get started. Let's start with county revenues or how the county brings in money. This pie chart breaks down all of the revenue types for the county in 2022. As we can see, most county revenue comes in through taxes, but the other revenue types include permits and licenses, intergovernmental revenues, charges for service, fines, forfeits, and fees, interest income, miscellaneous revenue, reimbursements, and other financing sources. Let's explore taxes further since it is the largest slice of the pie. For the county in 2022, 83.5% of taxes was general property taxes, 9.5% were general sales and use taxes, 3.2% were other taxes, 2.3% were delinquent taxes, and 1.6% were selective sales and use taxes. Now let's explore county expenses to see where this money goes. This pie chart breaks down expenditures for all county funds by functional area for 2022. As we can see, the largest functional area for the county is public safety, making up 42.9% of county expenditures. Then we have community services at 21.3%, general government at 17.2%, Judicial Services at 9.2%, Public Works at 4.7%, Internal Accounts at 3.4%, Other Programs at 0.9%, and the Mayor and Commission at 0.3%. Let's explore some of these areas further to see the departments and services provided by the county funds. For instance, most of public safety for the county is made up of the Sheriff's Department. The Sheriff's Department houses the county jail, which we can see here. 12.8% of county public safety goes to the Police Department. And this includes the Services Bureau, which is a part of 911 dispatch services for the county, and asset protection, which is UG security. Three point six percent goes to Fire Communications Division of the Fire Department, which handles nine one one dispatch for the county. Four point seven percent of the county pie goes to Public Works, which maintains county buildings through buildings and logistics. 21.3% goes to community services, which if we explore further, makes up the following county departments. 40.6% of county community services goes to the Parks and Recreation Department, which provides and maintains parks and recreation facilities and services for the county. 17.6% goes to the Health Department, which provides health services and health education services to the county. 5.1% goes to transit, which provides public transportation for the elderly across the county. 17.2% of the county pie goes to general government, which covers administrative departments such as HR and finance for the county. Thank you for watching today, and we hope you have learned more about county revenues and expenses.